Hello everyone. Welcome to a new video in the series Crossspective. This video is about the significance of 5 weight percent sodium chloride used in corrosion testing. So I got this question on the WhatsApp group for the corrosion that I have found it. You can get the link of the WhatsApp group from one of my posts. The question was why is only 5% sodium chloride used why do we not use more or less so when we mix sodium chloride in a solution in different weight percentages we are uh, we assume, assume that the chlorine will be the only uh, uh, corrosive medium however that is not true we may use deionized water also but if you do not have a deaerated water if you are still using an aerated water then in addition to chlorine you will also have dissolved oxygen usually in corrosion testing we do not go for deaerated water so we will always have chlorine chloride ions and dissolved oxygen in water so in uh, low concentrations of sodium chloride you will have less of the chloride ions and more of the dissolved oxygen as you increase the sodium chloride concentration you will have more of the chloride ions now the issue here is up to up to a certain weight percentage which is usually 3.5 weight percent of the saline water the concentration of the chloride ions and the oxygen ions can uh, both be present simultaneously to the most corrosive extent so they will each have an effect on the corrosion however if we go beyond 3.5 weight percent then the amount of chloride ions will keep increasing and the chloride ions will take up the space uh, that is available for dissolved oxygen so now dissolved oxygen con content will become less uh, this will change the corrosion behavior of the uh, two concentrations the advantage of five, uh, the five weight percent in this case is you will still have a high amount of chloride ions so if the motive is to test the effect of chloride ions then uh, even if you have a low concentration of oxygen that will not really uh, change that will not really matter uh, so the effect of such kind of coexistence of the chloride and oxygen ions leads to a change in the corrosion rate. In this important work, it is given that as you increase the weight percent of NaCl, the corrosion rate first increases and then decreases slightly and then decreases further. So this peak is 3.5 weight percent NaCl that is the saline water content. After 3.5% you have a slight change that at 5 weight percent NCL. Even so the corrosion rate of 5 weight percent is high. If we use 5 weight percent NACL, it ensures that you will still have accelerated corrosion because you have a high amount of chloride ions and you will still have sufficient oxygen concentration to simulate the real environment. If uh, we go for a very high concentration, then the oxygen content will be really low and the entire uh, and the chloride ions uh, will cause corrosion, which may not really be uh, what is seen in the environmental exposure. Uh, the uh, reason for uh, not using 3.58% is really it's not steadfast so some if someone wants to test an automotive that is in the sea water they may go for 3.58 percent also but standard uh, will tell you to use 5 weight percent because it will satisfy these two conditions so that is all for this video and uh, do uh, check out my channel for more videos coming up thank you